Good morning, everyone. I'm kind of sitting here all by myself. I know Mikey isn't here to do this with me, and I know you're disappointed that he's not here also. Um, but we were talking this morning, and with him working full time, he told me we are getting so far behind on videos and even doing the special meeting. Um, so we want to get the clips out there. And so we decided that instead of like rambling on, you know, analyzing it, what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to let me briefly mention uh, these clips and then we're just going to play the audio. And for you know anybody who wants to grab these, you know, and use them in your own videos, please be our guest. And I want to thank John Redwood so much. I mean, sweetie. You have saved me hours and hours of listening to this stuff over and over again, you know, by grabbing these clips and saving them for me and sending them to me. You don't realize how much that helps me. So we appreciate it so much. Um, so this one is our buddy, Tony Morris, and he's talking about blood guilt. And it's like, oh my God, really? You know, he uses the scripture in Ezekiel. And then he says, if you are not actively sharing in the preaching work, you know, and then he has everybody looking at their hands and he's like, you can't see the blood on your hands, you know, but Jehovah can. And uh, he says, for, start talking about those who are inactive or maybe having problems at home or something. And you think that Jehovah will understand. What Jehovah? I don't know that Jehovah. So he's basically saying that their God, Jehovah, is a cruel jerk and won't understand what problems you're going on or yeah what problems you're having at home because you can't be out in service it's like oh my god so what we're going to do is like i said um i'm just going to do a brief introduction and then i'm going to do the clip so hopefully we can get all these clips out there because i know several of you have been wanting to know what happened at the special meeting and um, we also have another video that we did together where we actually go through highlights of the entire thing. So hopefully I can get that edited and uh, we'll get that up as well. So you all have a great day. Turn to Ezekiel 33. And there might be different reasons. And we'll get to that in a moment. Let's just first establish something about spiritual families because we've covered the matter of prayer, dress and grooming, and uh, entertainment choices and such. But this is crucial for a spiritual family. Uh, chapter 33, verse 8 and verse 9. In the Jehovah speaking, when I say to someone wicked, wicked one, you will surely die, but you do not speak out to warn the wicked one to change his course, he will die as a wicked man because of his own error, but I will ask his blood back from you. But if you warn someone wicked to turn back from his way, and he refuses to change his course, he'll die for his error, but you'll certainly save your own life. So what's the point? Well, the warning work. We, we share in the preaching work. Uh, many will do it tomorrow because you're join the program today, you had your watchtower summary today. The fact is, this is blood guilt, and you take a good look at your hands, your families, and the single folks too who benefit, and uh, the kind of blood on your hands that is spoken of here is figurative. You don't see it right there, but if you're really not actively sharing in the warning work, when God looks at your hands, could well be seen blood. So if he sees blood on our hands, we're going with the ones we were supposed to warn. It's that serious. Not a light matter. And, and sometimes folks talk about this relative, that relative, and, you know, they're baptized, but they've been going through a hard time, they're not preaching. And we love the inactive. We're going to try to help them. But, you know, they talk about Jehovah like uh, he's going to understand and all this. And I'm like, what Jehovah are they talking about? I don't know him. He's not in here. That's your idea. This is serious business. It's life and death, whether we share in the warning work. 